This is the single disk file, a high performance random access memory. It is an outgrowth of a research program which has had two objectives. First, major advances in magnetic recording for file storage, especially advances in storage density. And second, new file concepts which might in turn lead to new systems to greatly extend our capabilities in data processing. The single disk file demonstrates a feasible storage density of approximately one quarter million bits per square inch, over 100 times that of RAMAC, with a capacity objective of seven million alpha numeric characters on a single 19 inch disk and interchangeable storage members made possible by access referencing on the disk itself the file combines the flexibility of tape with the advantages of rapid random access. For maximum track density, as well as interchangeability, SDF exploits a new concept in access registration, deriving final positioning information from the disk itself. A closed loop servo drive provides automatic fine positioning and tracking. The access piston of the file carries eight heads, four on the top surface and four on the under surface at equal fixed distances from one another. Three heads on top and the four beneath are data heads. The eighth head, top side and innermost, contains a variable reluctance magnetic head which reads the servo control information. Each of the seven data heads has access to 200 tracks spaced within a 1.3 inch recording band. A hydraulic servo valve controls oil flow to the piston which supplies motion to the transducers. This piston is rigidly connected to the heads and to the core of a linear differential transformer. Course positioning for rapid access is achieved by comparing the track address signal of a resistor address network with the transformer signal. The amplified differential is applied to the servo valve and the piston is displaced and the voltage diminished until the heads are within one and one half tracks of the required track address. Thus, course positioning need be accurate only to within plus or minus 10 mils, although track center spacing is 6.5 mils. Control is then automatically switched to the fine positioning servo head and the bit matrix control pattern. It is the function of the fine positioning loop to keep the data heads continually on one of the two tracks in its control region. A ninth fixed head counts sectors on the innermost or sync track of the bit matrix and selects the proper one of two possible sample pulse groups for fine positioning. To meet the overall response requirements of the file, the bit matrix is repeated 50 times. The paper clip shows the relative size of the checkerboard pattern, which gives an alternating magnetic state along the servo tracks and a one out of two track choice for fine positioning. Sampling the error 50 times in each revolution, the access follows relatively large track excursions. Thus, offset mounting does not bar the interchangeability of disks. Error signal information, when positive, causes the servo head to be driven toward the center of the disk and when negative, to be driven toward the perimeter. When the servo transducer is in null position, the access is on the required track. The servo access mechanism permits tracking to within about half a mil with track runouts up to eight to 10 mils, and makes feasible the high density storage affected by carefully designed heads and magnetic transducers. The heads are essentially self-acting pivoted slider bearings. Given slight convexities on their under surfaces, they ride the laminar airstream about 200 micro inches from the recording surface. Each of the data heads carries a read and a write magnetic probe transducer. With the present configuration, a 7 million character disk capacity entails a maximum linear density of 1625 bits per inch, 
but only the data transducer directly beneath the servo head and covering the short inner tracks need be capable of this maximum. We now write 6.2 mil and read 3.7 mil probe tracks at 1250 bits per inch. But advanced ring designs demonstrate potentials well beyond the 1625 bit maximum requirement. Dual element heads ease registration requirements, permit greater refinement of each transducer, and should ultimately allow simultaneous reading and writing. Transducer amplifiers and preamplifiers have been brought out to tabletop level to reduce cable lengths and to permit convenient adjustment. Novel features in the design of the disk also contribute to the design of the file. Each 19-inch disk is a lamination of two sheet metal surfaces on a polyurethane foam core. This makes for lighter weight, permits use of commercial 20 mil sheet steel of high finish, and gives parallel surfaces as an automatic byproduct of a molding process. The servo band is etched separately on a thin steel disc and inserted into the main disc. Either surface remains usable when a defect is found in the other. Because they are readily interchangeable, one disc may be removed and another quickly inserted in its place. During maintenance, processing continues on an alternate unit. And libraries of data are easily shipped from one location to another. The test model, working serial serial at a 756 kilocycle bit rate, is adaptable to parallel operation. And independent access units might be added to the initial one if still greater performance were desired. The integration of storage medium referenced servo controlled random access, high performance heads and magnetic transducers, and new features in disk design has shown the feasibility of a capacity of 70,100 character message blocks, a recording density of one quarter million bits per square inch, and an average access time of 50 milliseconds. The file demonstrates that random access is capable of challenging sequential processing by magnetic tape in large data processing systems. Rapid, compact, and flexible, the file is a powerful, large-capacity, low-cost means of data storage and retrieval.